Hello friends, Carrie Wood here from the Mount Moriah United Methodist Church with a preview of what we have coming this Sunday, February the 24th, 2019. It's great to be back with you again. These past two Sundays, Deborah and I have been away visiting with family and getting refreshed and reinvigorated to come back and to be engaged in ministry with all of you. So I'm looking forward to this Sunday being together again, and it's going to be a very important Sunday for our church and indeed for our denomination. For you see, on the 23rd of February, on Saturday, the special session of the General Conference begins in St. Louis, Missouri. And on Sunday, the 24th, they're going to be beginning the work of the church, looking at our book of discipline and deciding how should we choose to live together as United Methodists and dealing with the issues of human sexuality and clergy ordination. Now, my friends, Unity doesn't come out of this book. Unity comes only through the Holy Spirit. And we're going to be talking about what real unity means this Sunday. And we are going to be praying for our church, for Mount Moriah, and for our denomination. And the prayer that we're praying is a very special prayer from John Wesley called the Covenant Prayer. And we're going to unpack this prayer. We're going to look at what Jesus has to say about unity in John chapter 17. And we are going to focus on who are we to be. And I can tell you right now who we are not to be. We are not to be people who are panicked about the future of our denomination. We are not people who should be running around yelling, fire, fire, fire or the sky is falling, the sky is falling, because my friends, no matter what happens at the special session of General Conference in St. Louis, what we're doing here at Mount Moriah Church in Cincinnati, Ohio, will continue. We are going to be the faithful followers of Jesus Christ, and I am encouraging you to stay firm, to stay engaged, to stay connected. Do not let what's happening in the denomination become something that impacts you in fear and in separation. This Sunday, we need to gather together and pray and seek God and know that no matter what our future holds, God is the one who indeed holds our future. I invite you to come this Sunday, and if you know someone who hasn't been with us for a while, invite them to come with you and be a part of this special service. We will meet for worship at 8.15 in the Wilford Chapel, at 9.30 and 11 o'clock in the sanctuary in our worship center. Come and feel the power of unity. When we trust in Jesus more than we trust the world, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.